So the question folks have about Rhizogreen is what does it do? In this video, I'm gonna go through four different areas that Rhizogreen impacts. My name is Trevor Greenfield. I'm the founder and co-owner of RioMax, and I'm just thrilled to be on this team and uh, part of this great company and impacting salt of the earth people like farmers and ranchers across North America. So the four areas of impact that I'm gonna speak about is soil health, plant nutrient value, plant yield, and impact on livestock. Let's start with soil health. Soil health is a huge subject. We know that impacting soil health is directly correlated to plant health. And that's, you know, whether it's row crops, whether it's hay, whether it's pasture, healthy soils drive healthy plants. So what we're doing with Rhizogreen is stimulating and hyperactivating the microbial communities in the soil. What they do is unlock the nutrients that are naturally occurring in the soil so that they are then available to the plant. The plant uptakes it and it's, it, that's, and that's what drives your resilience, your growth and your yield. So right where we're standing now is uh, about 20 acres of alfalfa. In, in the spring of 2020, we applied the rhizogreen to this, to this uh, test plot right here. And then right over here is the control. So treated, untreated. Back to the question about soil health. Six months after we treated this, we took a soil sample where we tested the microbial biomass. And the microbial biomass in the treated plot was 131% higher than just 30 feet away over here in the untreated. Microbial biomass is a metric of healthy soil. Healthy soil is not just a nice term. Healthy soil is important for A, carbon sequestration, B, plant health, and C, water retention. All very important aspects. The second area I wanted to cover was the nutrient value of the plant. When that plant is pulling more nutrients out of the soil, it's obvious that it's gonna impact its nutrient density, the nutrient value of that plant. So right here, we did a test, again, treated versus untreated. And the nutrient density or the bricks that was tested in this alfalfa was four percentage points higher than just 30 feet away in the control. Now, what does that mean? According to the experts, every 1% increase on your bricks is equivalent to about one tenth of a pound of daily gain. So you can see why we're excited about driving the nutrient value in those plants up because it has a direct effect on daily gain. Uh, the third point I wanna mention is yield. So if you're a row crop farmer and you're listening to this and you say, I don't care necessarily about increased nutrient value because I'm not getting paid for it, I hear you. That's where yield comes in. On this alfalfa test plot, we saw a 10% increase in height on the, on the, from the treated to the untreated. In Mississippi, we did a similar trial, one acre treated versus one acre control. And the, the results there on the harvested, on the harvested hay was 10.21% increase. So we had 10.21% more yield off of that acre that was treated versus the acre that was not treated. So yield is a big deal. And again, whether it's corn or beans or alfalfa or your, your uh, rangeland, yield in terms of the increase of that plant matter increased by about 10% is huge. The next aspect I wanted to cover is the impact it has on livestock. So I've already alluded to the point that 
for every 1% in BRICS increase, we see about a tenth of a pound increase in daily gain. Now that came full circle to us when we learned that this trial that was being done in Mississippi on a 60 acre hay meadow, after the rancher had taken the hay off of that, that particular meadow, he turned 60 cows out on, onto that field. And those cows were on the same diet, the same nutrition program, the same supplements as all of his other cows, but they gained half a body score over all of his other cows. So a higher nutrient value correlates directly with your daily gain or your body condition on your cows. So that wraps up the four. As I said, soil health, your nutrient value of your plant, your yield of your plant, and the impact it has on your livestock. So thanks for watching. I hope this answers some of the questions you have. What I would love for you to do next is click below and it'll take you to the Rhizo Green webpage so that you can hear firsthand from these ranchers that did these studies in 2020. Thanks again, and uh, let's keep on this journey.